Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Friday Vibes with Centennial Moon Campus Edition. My name is Esther and I'm here with Melanie and Liz who are part of the Centennial Moon team here. And uh, today, I hope you are excited to be part of our team today. Yes, yes. so excited. Yeah. Alright, so today we are going to talk about a topic we put up uh, on Wednesday. We asked you what are like the money beliefs or stories that you've grown up Hearing, I'll tell you the most common one. Mine was money doesn't grow on trees, and I'm sure you've all heard about it. So what you're going to do today is that I'm just going to mention the comments you guys uh, posted, and then they're going to tell me what they think about it. Uh, so the first one on Facebook, Gustav said that if you come from a rich family, your next generation will be poor and vice versa. <laughs> I completely disagree with that. Why? Because <laughs> it's usually if you come from a rich family, you'll keep being rich and you know generations to come. I think. What do you think? I agree because first, if you're rich, you get opportunities to yeah. go to a good school, you get good education, you get connections, yeah. it's better. And if you're poor, you have to struggle. So the chances of someone being rich, staying rich is very high. What about when uh, you get your inheritance and you squander it? Uh, you know, that's, it depends on how you are raised, like, yeah. you know, the values you are brought up with. Because if you're given good values, you're taught to work hard and how to manage your money, which mm. is what people should do, set on me. Yeah. Uh, it, it all depends on how you are brought up. Yeah. All right. I think it's actually the other way around. I think the probability of you being rich, if you come from a rich family, you'll become rich, and mm. if you're poor, you remain poor, not the way you put it. That's what but you can also like come from a poor family yeah. Sure. Yeah. and become yeah. rich. Yeah. Sure. Right. The second one that if you work hard in school, you'll get a job mm-hmm. and that will earn you a lot of money. What a big fat lie. Do you think it's a big <laughs> fat lie? It's a big fat lie. <laughs> <laughs> there are no guarantees in life. It's all about how you place yourself and how you work, I think. Yeah, so you have to like go for opportunities. Yeah. 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 Mike said um, that if you got good grades, you'd be rich. I think this is a common one. Yeah. Um, what, what are your thoughts? I think if you get good grades, it puts you in a better position, but it doesn't guarantee you that you'll become rich for sure. Mm. Not. Ah, okay. Actually, that's the comment. We have like three more comments which are similar. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, Dixon says, at him, Pesa si kitu naweza mwa ununue kitu. Pesa si kitu I think he meant like, like plucking from trees. I was still on the on the trees. I know from trees. Well, yeah, cuz what can you say about that? But yeah. you guys remember like growing up sometimes you ask for something yeah. and your parents maybe are asking for too much mm. and your parents don't want to give you so I like hi. You know, like they used to have such comments yeah. and yeah. I think maybe it's also because of how they were raised. And then they were told the same that thing so they pass it to us. Yeah. Okay, another one. Money is like a flea. Interpret for us. Flea? Money is like a flea. Like the insect. Yeah, flea. I think they, they flea, flea the insect. First fleas are dirty. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so that, do they mean like money? Our oh, money, money comes and goes. You know, fleas just come. I think maybe. Also, but flea is like I don't I don't know. I have no idea what flea and these insects that come with the trash. Yeah. They look like flies but they're not flies. They're too small ones. They're too small ones, they're really so tiny maybe. ones. Pesa you put the kendanga. Maybe that's what you was trying to say. I'm a person in chocolate. As in money can be interpreted, I don't know what to say. But you know how some people say like money is evil, like mm. money brings evil. So I don't know if that's what he means because please go in that and they're not good things. Okay, I don't talk about mm. I don't know. Uh so another on IG, mm-hmm. there is no money. Uh ah, of course. Ayo ni kawaida. Yeah. Everyone was told that kuna pesa. There's no time we'll borrow money and they'll be like shika willingly. <laughs> it has to be a struggle, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. So do you think also the fact that if you grow up being told that there's no money every time, mm-hmm. you'll grow up thinking mm-hmm. yeah, kuna 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 pesa. Pesa. yeah. So do you think it it sort of like limits um I don't know I don't know that say it limits opportunities or limits the way you think like you know when you think you have potential mm-hmm. to get more money, do you think it limits you? 
I think it definitely limits you yeah. because your mindset is always going to reflect. If you think there's no money, I'll tell you about your pesa. Akuna pesa. But if you think there's money, there's money. Yes, law of attraction, guys. Yes. What do you think? Is what yes. you yes. Yeah. So be very careful about the things that you've been conditioned to believe. Now the last one. Pesa ipandu kwa shamba. Everyone's told that, I think. Yeah. There was money that doesn't grow money trees. Doesn't grow yeah. Yeah. Um, so we are almost at the end of it. What comments will you like closing comments do you have to start with this? Um, I think I'll go with what you said, the law of attraction. Just be careful what you say. Um, what you say is what you attract, yes? So yes. I would say that. So. I think I just like to mirror what you say. If you think to exit the money, you'll never get money. And money is good. Money is going to provide security. It's going to provide you whatever you want. Yeah. It's not evil. It just depends on what you do with it. But money is definitely yeah. good. All right, guys. That's it for today. As you know, here at Centenary, you learn how to manage and grow your money better. And also how to change your mindset, which is part of what you learn in the composition classes. Uh, um, these are segment on the wealth creation mindset so you can also join the next class it will be starting next year on february 23rd let's get those new year goals going the link will be down below and don't forget to like comment share subscribe